Hollywood loves Tom Clancy novels. His stories have grossed well over a billion dollars at the box office, and video game sales are in the hundreds of millions. So why is this popular franchise overlooked? Hollywood has been forced to write new Jack Ryan stories for themselves after Tom Clancy's death, while ignoring the action-packed SWAT team story of Rainbow Six. Who exactly is the Rainbow Six team fighting, and why was it so controversial at the time of the book's release? I want to start out by saying the book is incredible. I'm putting a couple links below where you can get the audiobook or a physical copy of it. This video will contain somewhat of a spoiler by revealing the plan of the bad guys. However, you do find that out at roughly the halfway mark of the book, and it is hinted at throughout the story beforehand. I don't think the story is totally ruined knowing this, but fair warning. The Rainbow Six team is a group of highly skilled SWAT members standing by ready to deploy anywhere in the world. They're called Rainbow because they're a covert international team designed to blend in with any country's law enforcement. When they deploy in Ireland, they all have Irish police uniforms on hand. When they deploy in Washington, D.C., they all have Washington, D.C. uniforms, etc. The characters aren't related to the video game, but interestingly, they all have their own skills like the video game characters do. They have a sniper, demolitions expert, machine gun expert, and so on. So why isn't Hollywood excited about this story? Well, for starters, the villains are climate change activists within the U.S. government and scientific community. I can almost forgive this aspect of it, since no one wants to make a fictional story where their community is portrayed negatively, and Hollywood, for better or worse, leans left. However, a detail like that can be worked with. Clever writers can de-emphasize certain characteristics of the villain, or make them part of an entirely different political orientation. It happens all the time. Even movies based on true stories have facts changed because they are potentially offensive. Russell Crowe's real-life character in A Beautiful Mind was actually gay. As it is a true story, they didn't want audiences to associate being crazy with his sexual orientation, so they changed it. No, the real problem with Rainbow Six is the plot itself. Now you tell me if this is a little too close to home given recent world events. In the story, climate change scientists and politicians believe the world is overpopulated. They want to reduce the amount of humans down to something like 50,000 on the planet. How do they decide to do that? release a bioweapon they made at the Sydney Olympics in Australia. They want everyone at this international event to take the disease back and infect their native countries. This will cause panic and deaths. But here's the kicker. This isn't the main attack. They know this disease will likely not kill enough, so they have a vaccine ready that will wipe everyone else out. The vaccine is designed as a time-delayed poison. People who receive it will be healthy for weeks and then drop dead. They create two vaccines in the story. One is for themselves that does protect you from the bioweapon, and the other kills the recipient after several weeks. Sound familiar? And now you know why you'll never see Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six streaming into your living room. At the time of its release, the book's plot was called Implausible, and vicious defamation against the environmentalist movement. I'll let you decide just how far-fetched that actually is.